Grade 8 math number 12.1b. Hi again. We're going to try uh, using the Pythagorean theorem in this video. We can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of a side of a right triangle when we know the lengths of the other two sides. So here we've got this right triangle, and here's a leg, and here's a leg, and the hypotenuse is right here. And if you can see, this is the right triangle, this is the right angle right here, and the hypotenuse is opposite of it. See? It's on the opposite side of the triangle. So if we need to find the length of a missing side, we remember this Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and take a look at this triangle. It doesn't matter, remember, which we label a or b, but I always have a tendency to make a the shortest side. So that's 6, and b would be 8, okay? Well, if a squared plus b squared equals c squared, we can find this missing angle measure of c by plugging our numbers into this formula. a squared, this would be a right here, that would be 6 times 6, because that's what squared means, right? So 6 squared. 6 times 6 is 36. That would be 8. This is side B right here. And we'd have 8 times 8, which is 64. So they're saying that 36 plus 64 is going to equal this side squared. Okay? Not just C, but C squared. Okay? Big difference. All right? So we add the 36 and the 64. 6 and 4 is 10, and 60 and 30 is 90. 10 and 90 is 100. So we know that c squared is equal to 100. Well, we need to unsquare this. We need to take the square root of both sides. So what's the square root of 100? 10 times 10. So that means that 10 times 10 equals c squared. So what we do is we take just one of them to have c, and we know that c is 10. So this side equals 10, OK? Now, it's really important that you remember to square before adding. So take a look at this. We did 6 squared plus 8 squared equals c squared, and then we found out what they were, 6 times 6 and 8 times 8. If we had just done 6 plus 8, that would have been 14, and c is not equal to 14. It would be wrong. You're going to get the wrong answer. So make sure you're remembering that this formula has these little squares up here. It doesn't say a plus b equals c. It says a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and that's a huge difference. It's a much different number, okay? 6 is not 36, okay? All right, let's take a look at another one. So that was missing the length of the hypotenuse, this side that's opposite the right angle. Now let's see what happens if we're missing side a, all right? So we got side b, that's 12 centimeters, and we know the hypotenuse is 15. We do the same thing we did before. Our formula says a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So we've got a squared, because we know that's what this is going to be, is going to equal this times this plus this times this is going to equal that 15 centimeters, OK, squared, all right? So we're going to have to square this one, and we're going to have to square this one, aren't we? These two are going to have to be squared. Well. 12 times 12 is 144. And 15 times 15, I did a little math on the side and got 225. So now I know that a squared plus 144 is going to equal 225. Well, we could do this algebraically. Because this is a plus 144, we can just subtract 144 from each side, can't we? And that'll isolate this a squared to one side. And this will give us our zero pair and eliminate that. And 225 minus 144 is 81. We know a squared is equal to 81. Well, what is the square root of 81? What times what equals 81? Oh, 9 times 9. So we know a squared, or a times a, is equal to 9 times 9. We take the square root of both sides. The square root of 9, if 81 is 9. We know that a is equal to 9. But it's not just 9. We need to write that centimeter in there. We need to label it, OK? So a is equal to 9 centimeters. So just remember, it doesn't matter which leg is a or b, but the longest side is c, the side opposite the right angle, OK? All right. I hope that was helpful. I hope all my videos are helpful. And if you watch them in order, you could do the entire grade 
of math that you're doing. You could work ahead or you could have a little extra help on what you were doing as you're in class, all right? The next thing we're going to talk about is three-dimensional triangles and shapes and using the Pythagorean theorem with these 3D shapes, okay? It's going to be 12.1c, and I hope to see you there. I hope you're having a good day. You'll be okay, all right? We're getting through this together. Don't worry, all right? Bye.